Welcome back to White Creek Acres. Tonight we're going to start part three of building our barn dominium. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Um, I want to go over the four things that happened this week. Um, first, we'll go into requesting your power pole, uh, getting power out to your place. Uh, we called up to Crawford Electric, which is our electric company and we found out that the title company never gave us a deed of sale. They will not touch your power until you have a deed of sale. That way they know that you are the owner. That took a while. That actually took a, f a week and a half to get that done. And then where the power pole is going. I did not know that, that was going to be an issue. The electrician wants it about five feet away from the house. The who else? Clary Building wants it about 20 feet away from the house. The electrical company they want it about five feet away from the house. Clary needs it 20 feet to get their equipment in between the pole and the barn. The reason why they need to get their scaffolding and all that, their, their risers to put the sheet metal on in between there. Makes sense. So I was hanging out with a friend of mine that uh, works for another uh, power company and I asked him his opinion. And this is what his opinion was, and I would have never thought of it. Ask your insurance company. He goes, these guys are going to be here for the first six months of your build, and then they're gone. Your insurance company, you're in bed with them. So if they're going to give you a discount on where that pole is going to be, you might want to call them because it doesn't matter what the rest of them are doing because the insurance company is going to be the one that's going to take care of you over time. So I called my insurance company. My agent looked at me and goes, I have never been asked that question in my entire life. Let me call the higher ups and I'll get back to you. He got back to me today. What he found out was they don't care. So he said it doesn't matter if it's close or if it's far away. He said the electrical company to take care of their poles so well that we're with Allstate, so uh, Allstate doesn't care. I said, well, I kind of like the 20 feet idea because if I need to get anything in between the pole and the house, and not to mention, you're dropping this pole and you gotta have temporary service for Clary Building to build the house. So they need that equipment in between there. And it makes sense. So we're going 20 feet. And then, trying to think. Oh, I want to show you our, I call it the book of building. You call it whatever you want. Basically, it's, I go out and get a book, one of these. And see all those little pages in there? That's all my bids stapled into one book. So I have all my bids in one book, and it's my go to. So I know what is bidded, I know what is covered, what they put in their bid. It's all in one book. So if I'm not there, my wife's there, she's got the book. So she can go to it and go, hey, Mr. Plumber, you bidded this. It's not here. So, this is a good thing. Now, right here, I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna show you my book. Okay. So like here, we have Bond Plumbing that's gonna do our plumbing work. Estimation, $20,000. I have Bond Plumbing. And then I have these, I have these, shop air, uh, the main house air will be here, 
and you just lay everything out. Like here's the septic system, here's the gutters, and this way it's all in one book. I also have like the phone numbers to hooking up the water. So this is a good thing to have all your paperwork in one spot for all your contractors. That way you have the Bible, as I call it, to when you need to go and look something up, it's all in one place. So, and another thing is too, I'm gonna have to reach out to all my contractors and find out what kind of lead time they need. Cause these guys are, once they know that they got the bid from you, they're gonna need lead time because they have to work you in their schedule. So some guys need six weeks lead time. Uh, your plumber's gonna do a rough in and a finish. Your HVAC's guy is gonna do a rough in and a finish. Um, the electrician with our pole barn that's on a slab, he's not going to do any rough in because it's, uh, he won't need anything in the slab. Uh, there is one thing in our build that we're doing uh, island with electric in it because I like to cook and I want electric in my island. So he told me basically what he needs done so instead of calling him all the way out to the job site, I'm just going to do it myself save me time save me money so electrician won't need any lead time until he's ready okay okay uh we've been waiting on our appraisal for eight weeks now and we got it last friday um now here's the fun stuff it was making us nervous as all get out like i told you we had four when we started this project we have four months to get everything ready for Cleary uh, next Wednesday will be our closing date on our construction loan next Wednesday is also six weeks out to our build they need that six weeks to get the building on the truck and out here so next Wednesday we're closing on the loan at noon, taking our signed paperwork across town, giving it to Cleary so they can order our building. Talk about pushing it close. Yes, we were pushing it close. Um, our appraisal came back. You're going to love this about these buildings. Uh, pole barn, barn dominium, shoust, whatever. Uh, my banker said they usually appraise out pretty high and we already appraised out ninety two thousand dollars over what we budgeted to build the house so we already have ninety two thousand dollars in equity basically before we even start building wow i loved that answer my banker hated that answer so um good stuff so that's where we're at right now so we're excited uh so on friday no on this coming wednesday at noon we're gonna do our construction loan and hand over the signed paperwork to clary so they can order the building and then on friday i meet with the electrician and the power company their engineer and we're going to set our temporary poles going to be ordered and in place and then at 9 30 Cleary building is going to come out and do their uh, final set uh, land preparation uh, lay out the building on where the corners are where everything's going um, and I'll take you along on that day so stay tuned uh, this is part three I like this putting this all together because I know a lot of people have a lot of information and I could not find it on the internet so please like and subscribe at White Creek Acres and we'll see you next time thanks for joining me have a great day